Hello friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to CSI Net Physics Solutions. Today, we take up a problem of classical mechanics based on Lagrange's equation. Its problem of December 2014 part B. The, what is the equation of motion of a system? When the system is described by a Lagrangian e to the power gamma t half m x dot square minus v x where gamma is a constant t is the time m is mass x dot is velocity vx is the potential energy notice one thing half m x dot square is same as half m v square and this is the kinetic energy term and this is potential energy term and this is the lagrangian is all about lagrangian is always kinetic energy minus potential energy on the other hand hamiltonian is always kinetic energy plus potential energy that is why h is also called the total energy so l is the lagrangian and hamiltonian they both are energy terms okay these relations are not to be used in our current problem but those are for sake of knowledge only here our problem demands the equation of motion when this Lagrangian has been provided now let me tell you one thing and this thing has to be remembered that whenever you are given a time dependent Lagrangian and you are asked to find the equation of motion then actually you are being asked to find the Lagrange's equation of motion okay then we will write down the Lagrange's equation put the value of L inside the Lagrange's equation and see what the equation finally turns out to be so let us see the Lagrange's equation the Lagrange's equation is del by del T into del L L is Lagrangian by Q dot minus del L by del Q is equals to 0 now as per the demand of our problem we will convert this equation as del L by del X dot so we have made one change from Q dot to X dot minus del L by del X is equals to 0 this Q dot is exactly same as X dot and Q is exactly same as X these are the standard notations but since our problem has the Lagrangian that contains x dot that is why we have written this equation in terms of x dot and x now next in next term we will put the value of l so l as given this is l so we will write e to the power gamma t into half m x dot square minus vx distributing m by 2 x dot square minus e to the power gamma t vx putting the whole term here we have del by del t del by del x dot the term is e to the power gamma t m by 2 x dot square minus e to the power gamma t m by 2 v it's not m by 2 it's vx minus del by del x l again e to the power gamma t m by 2 x dot square minus e to the power gamma t into vx is equal to 0 so we have del by del t from the first term e to the power gamma t into m by 2 is constant we are left with e to the power x dot square with respect to x with respect to x dot sorry minus e to the power gamma t into vx the whole term is constant with respect to x dot 
that is why we take this out of derivative and we are left with derivative of 1 with respect to x dot minus del by del x here from the first term what is the constant the whole term is constant why because x dot square is a is is a not a function of x m by 2 is not a function of x e to the power gamma t is not a function of x that is why the whole term is constant and we are left with derivative of 1 with respect to x minus minus plus e to the power gamma t is constant but vx is a function of x that is why derivative is possible is equal to 0 this is no dot then we have del by del t into e to the power gamma t into m by 2 and this gives us 2 x dot minus 0 since derivative of constant is 0 minus 0 since derivative of constant is 0 therefore the whole term is 0 and plus e to the power gamma t derivative of vx with respect to x is equal to 0 then we have del by del 2 this 2 and 2 cancel each other and gives us e to the power gamma t into m into x dot plus e to the power gamma t del vx by del x is equal to 0 so in the next line we write m is the constant so we are left with derivative with respect to t of e to the power gamma t into x dot plus this is as it is del v x by del x is equal to 0 now this is the condition of derivative of u dot v because e to the power gamma t is a function of time and x dot is also a function of time and why do I say that because we know dx by dt is equal to x dot and dx dot by dt is equal to x double dot so this x dot is a function of time therefore it is differentiable and gives a value of x double dot so always remember that dx dot dx by dt is x dot but remember that d always we we have seen it dx with respect to dx dot is 0 dx dot with respect to dx is 0 but this is not 0 this is x double dot so we have m the first term uh, first term is constant and differentiating the second term plus differentiating the first term and the second term is constant plus e to the power gamma t del vx by del x is equal to 0 e to the power gamma t this is x double dot plus e to the power gamma t into gamma into x dot plus e to the power gamma t del vx by del x is equal to 0 m now mul we multiply with each terms inside bracket m e to the power gamma t x double dot plus m e to the power gamma t gamma x x dot 
plus e to the power gamma t and let us write this vx as v del v by del x is equal to 0 then we have e to the power gamma t we take as common since this each term contains e to the power gamma t that is why we have taken this as common we are left with mx double dot plus m e to the power gamma t into gamma I'm um, sorry I'm sorry this is m gamma into x dot plus del v by del x is equal to 0 if I take this term to the right hand side it will become 0 so we are left with m x double dot plus m gamma x dot plus del v by del x is equal to 0 and this is the result that we have found using the Lagrange's equation putting the value of L inside the Lagrange's equation and finally we go to this equation and this matches with our answer 1 so 1 is the answer so answer is A or 1 thank you